another episode of Movie Tuesday. My name is Paul Church from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. How is everybody today? I know it takes a while for you to, to pull up a chair and, and join the party. Um, I can see we have one person, all, all of a sudden 16 people viewing. So I'm sure I'll get some comments in the moment, in the moment, in a moment even. Um, yeah, nice chilled, groovy Tuesday day today. Um, looking forward to this. I've had a few ideas on what we can do just to give various different options. So there we go. Mo, first to the party. Good morning, Mo. Um, lovely and sunny in North Yorkshire today. Glad to hear it. Yeah, it's lovely and sunny in Kent, or in this part of Kent anyway, but it's quite fresh. Good morning, Glynis. Good morning, Jill. Here we all come. Nahid, Sharon. There we go. It, it's yeah, Yes, Nahid, it's the same. Lovely and sunny, but freezing cold. <laughs> the same here in Kent as well. Um, a few of uh, my colleagues, they had ice on the car this morning um, when they came in. So, um, yeah. But at least the sun's shining. Yesterday was torrential rain. <laughs> it, just kept coming and falling down. Um, so there's lots of puddles driving in on the way this morning. So I hope everyone's keeping well. So, um, my mic is making extra scratchy sounds. Ooh, okay, Let me just adjust that. Just in case it's catching on the card. Any better? No, the sound is good. Stuart, can you let me know if I'm sounding a bit scratchy? And, um, I'll try and keep the cardigan straight. Maybe I'll turn it a little bit that way, just in case. I just thought we had a, a newbie in the room. Who was that? Let me see if I can scroll back and see who that was. Everyone's coming in thick and fast this morning. Uh, let's have a look. Who is the newbie? Carol Watts. Um, welcome, Carol. I see you're tuning in on our YouTube page. Welcome. Most of the chat goes on over on the Clarity Facebook page. So if you want to join in the chat and see what else is going on, um, then maybe pop over to there as well. You don't need to um, join up to anything. It's just broadcast on our Clarity Stamp page. Um, who else we've got? Mrs. P's in the room. Annie, good morning, Glynis, again, Sue, Jane, um, Josie, oh, lots of people today, Alison, still scratchy, very crackly, okay, um, let me switch it off, I'm going to go quiet, I'm going to switch it off, and um, I'll, I was going to say I'll do sound, sound. <laughs> that's better, sound is clear, Paul, okay. Let me see what Stuart is saying. Stuart is saying anything. Sounds stable so far. I'll keep an eye on fuzziness and volume. Thank you, Stuart. Okay. So I won't interfere then. I'll keep it if that's better. And I'll just keep it away from the cardigan. Okay. Sound is fine. Sound is good. Super duper. Okay, maybe it was just funny. Maybe I was just leaning forward a little bit. So, um, yes, how are we all doing? Okay, I'm glad. Welcome to any newbies. Good morning, Shari. I can see Joe joining us today. Um, Guy from France. Bonjour. My French and all foreign languages are zero. <laughs> so I'm not even going to, to pronounce what you think. Just when I move, catching on your cardigan. Okay, I'll try not to move. I'll put the mouse carefully. It's not sort of touching. Um, okay, maybe. I tell you what, I'm going to switch the mic off and I'll switch it back on again. So I'm going to go quiet and you'll see me while I do this. I'm just going to switch it off. And I 
should be okay, hopefully. Hopefully the sound is back. Um, quite bad. Check everything connected nice and tight. Okay, let's just, I'll just check all the connections. Let's try... I'll put it that way. So if that makes any difference. Still very scratchy. Okay. Apologies. Isn't it great when we have technical issues? I love a bit of technical issues. Let me just stand up. Is that any better? It seems to be when I move. So that's really nice and tight. Uh, let's have a look at the receiver box. That's all nice and tight. That's all plugged in correctly. Um, no, 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 here's no stripping in here, taking my cardi off. <laughs> okay, how about that? Is that any better? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. How are we doing with that? Is that any better? I'm sitting still. Um, I've got a crackly wire. Oh, yeah, there's a few crackly wires in there, Jill, I can tell you. <laughs> if you sit still, it's okay. Okay. Um, very strange. Better. Okay. Better. Better. Don't move. Okay, it can be quite difficult not to move. Move a bit. If I move a bit, if I go like this, does it go all scratchy? If people are tuning in now thinking, what is going on? Okay, I'm moving a bit now. So if I go left and right, <laughs> up and down, um, pause it. Dawn, don't panic. I, I haven't finally cracked. I'm not going mad. Um, okay, so that seems to be okay. So maybe. Just checking all the connections, switching it off, moving. Um, okay. When you move, it's bad. Okay. <laughs> right. I tell you what. Let me show you the plate that we're working with. We're working with a couple of plates. I'm going to go to the overhead. Um, chair yoga. I know that's funny, isn't it? If we have a look on the um can i come and sit on your car by us <laughs> oh dear you are all controlling me remotely didn't you know that we're going to have a look on the overhead i'm going to take my cardi off as he suggested and we'll see whether that makes any difference so just while i take my cardi off let's have a look at that um so what i'm going to do it may go crackly while I just unclip everything. Okay. But all the connections do seem okay. Right. Let's take the cardio off and then I'll clip it to my top. Just have I got a popcorn underneath, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So let's try. I'm going to clip it. Here. I don't know if that's going to be any better. Let's go this way. Is it? Anchor? It's quite awkward putting it on this way. Okay, we're all plugged in. I did replace the batteries before we started. Okay. I can keep my hat on. Thanks, Glynis. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, I can't get my chair right now. Okay, so if I move around now, is it, I'm going crazy now, stir crazy. Is that any better? Um, is it still crackly? Uh, uh, I'm just, come on, face phone, I need to read the text messages from Stuart. Um, keep going I think it is the wire moving fine just be aware of the wire sounds good at the moment okay is that better much better much better okay maybe it was a static coming from the Cardi 
Um, okay. Should we recap? <laughs> oh dear, happy Tuesday morning. See, the sun just makes you laugh. Um, <sighs> cracking in stop for now. Okay, all good. I'll keep looking up as we're working today and um, just crackling, crackling and see what happens. Maybe, say, maybe it could be the static from the cardigan. Don't know. We have lots of fun here, Karen, don't we? That's what it's all about, crafting and lots of fun. So, um, right, okay. Let's, I feel as if I'm in my pyjamas now. <laughs> so these are the plates that we've been looking at. This is um, the Jane Nesterenko rose and lattice plate. So we have the, the A5 plate. And this was a craft along um, that Barbara and Linda did back in September uh, 2021. Um, and so if you want to sort of have a look at that, how that played out, you can go to our YouTube page and have a look for the craft along. Or you can go to our website, which is claritycrafts.com. And if you go to the moment of clarity, you'll be able to scroll back and see all the various different um, craft alongs. And you'll be able to find those ones that um, Linda and Barbara did together. And this was the piece that they worked on during that craft along. And when you combine it with the, on the beautiful rainbow parchment, it really does bring it to life. And what you'll see is that they sort of changed the layout slightly. So you can see you have this lovely aperture within the middle, but we put the rows at the bottom and we put the sentiment in the middle. And there's this exquisite coloring and white work. I mean, let me bring the, the leaf up to show you. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Whoops, focus. There we go, look at that. And that's on the front, and if we look on the back, you can, see, there we go. You can see the detail and how that's been created. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of what you can do. And what we've been doing is we've been taking the design exactly how it comes. And we was doing our white work on those little dots within the trellis last week. And I said that we'd leave it until this week to put another layer of white work on. Okay. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a piece of artwork. Okay. Stuart, maybe you could find um, the link on um, the Clarity Matters, and not Clarity Matters, on the Moment of Clarity section of the website and pop a link up to the Craft Along the YouTube. Um, that'd be really great for those um, viewers that are new to Groovy Tuesday and Clarity. They may want to go back and watch and see how that was created. Um, so what we're going to need is we don't need the plates because we've, we've finished with the plates for the moment. We're going to need our A4 black mat. We're going to need our Groovy Guard. We're going to need a piece of artwork and then we're just very simply going to stick with the number three and four and the one and two groovy tools that come within the starter kit okay so what we're looking at is if you've only got the starter kit and you've bought this selection of plates then you can still craft along at or groove along at the same time okay so that's what we're going to need and then I thought I would show you some various different options on what we can put in the middle. Now, we can take the design exactly how it comes, and we can pop that in the middle. However, we may want to vary that and have a look at some of Jane's other designs. So this is the lovely Agapanthus. We have the Dahlias. We have the fuchsias. 
and we also have a different rose from Jane. So we can use any of those to put in the middle. Okay. However, maybe you've got a royal garden party coming up. You may want to use some of our royal gnomes um, to put in the middle. I think I just think they'd be great within that. Maybe you're doing party invites for that. Um, maybe over the street party. We have them also available in stamps as well. Um, but the, the king and queen and the, the guardsman, I mean, that guardsman for a little boy's card or a young girl's card for that matter, um, would be great. And you've got this lovely frame, you've got let's party, you've got party, celebrate, all different occasions. Okay. So we're going to have a look at some different options and how we can put our design in the middle. All right. But first, what we want to do is finish off doing our white work. So we're going to work on the back. And remember what I did last week is I put a groovy tab on to show where I'm starting. So when I go around anti uh, clockwise, when I go clockwise, I know where I need to finish. Okay. Groovy guard, I was using this last week to concentrate on the areas and then move along. And I'm still gonna stick with the number three tool. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit now. So I'm gonna stand up. So I'm hoping it won't start crackling again. And let me just zoom in. I'm not seeing any comments. So I'm hoping everybody's still with us. And I haven't sent you to sleep. Okay, right. Hopefully that's okay. Is there anybody there? I can see we have viewers, but I can't see. <laughs> Maybe you're just... Oh, there we go, Clive. Clive, watched the Linda, Barbara and Grace one using those plates. It was hilarious. Of course, Grace was home, wasn't she? Um, yes, I remember now. And Grace and Barb did it in the studio above the garage, and Linda did it from Wet Wells. I'm sure it's probably raining then. Um, okay, I'm glad the, the crackling has stopped, and I'm glad you're all still there as well. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna concentrate on the area here, and I'm gonna put my glasses on. My side's definitely going. I need just to, clean my glasses because they seem to be filthy. Okay. So. Super duper. Ah, much better. Okay. So do you remember last week we were talking about when we were doing circles, we need to go up and down, left and right, and round and round. So it's the same process. So now I'm going to go up and down, left and right, round and round. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a small area just to show you the difference of the whiteness. Okay, so I'm going to go from left to right in these areas, like so. Now, what I mustn't forget is these tiny little bits down the side as well. Okay, they do, it's quite, I can feel um, the sort of, the, the pressure that I'm applying on the black mat. And I need to be careful that I don't go on too heavy to go through, because the more we stretch, the weaker the parchment becomes. Okay, so gently does it, nice and easy. We're just going to work in small sections at a time. That must be strange, wasn't it? It must have been the, the static on the cardigan. Very strange. I don't think we've had that before. There you go. Oh, no, not to, 
to wear that cardigan again for Groovy Tuesday or TV. Okay, so these tiny little areas here, this ball tool, the number three that we're using, is a little bit big for... Um, so I'm going to now go to my number two tool and just gently do those little areas there. Okay. There's another one just there. Okay. And we're just going to gently blend it into that line. It's amazing that tiny little area there, um, the difference it can make to the design. Okay, so let's turn this over now and see whether there is any difference in the whiteness. So if I section off this area here, so at this point here, this is where I've just put another layer on, and down here is definitely not as white. Okay, I can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, um, but there's definitely a difference between, it's literally these points here, from there and above to down. There's definitely some gray areas here. Okay, so now we're gonna turn our work back over. So we concentrate on that area. So now I'm gonna move down to the next section. So let's do these little bits here first. Okay, so I'm still using the number two tool just to put those little semicircles in. And that doesn't take a lot to just turn that tiny little area white. Now I'm gonna go back to my number three tool and then continue with our pattern. Okay. So what we've got, we've got lots going on again this week at um, Clarity. Who was in the shack yesterday? Those vases you've been creating are absolutely stunning. The principle of the, the different layers um, from sort of a, the outlines, then the infills, together, not together, to give it sort of a, a different look. And it gives it more of a, a natural look, doesn't it? Um, by not having that solid outline giving you the shape. So it was the colour that defined the shape of the vase. Okay, so I'm going to go back to number two tool. I'm going to do these little bits so I don't forget. So if I get into a habit of just, when I move the groovy guard, just do those little bits there, um, and then go in and complete the rest of the design. So, number three tool again. And we're just putting an extra layer of whiteness into our dots. So yeah, so we had, um, so let's sort of rewind. What did we have last week um, since we last met? Let's have a look at my little list. What did we have? Um, that's right. So we had Groovy Tuesday. And then the lovely Tina Cox was on Create and Craft on Saturday Just Gone. With those lovely Art Nouveau style um, designs. And those framework squares and circles really, really popular. Who would have thought sort of a, a plate with loads of different circles and squares on them would be so useful? Really love watching Tina work her magic and um, giving designs a different look. I missed a little line there. Doesn't matter, I can go back in and add that in. 
Um, so yeah, so that was Saturday. Um, let's move down to the next section. Make sure we're still in focus. There we go. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the plate back into place. I'm going to put that line in so that I don't forget it. So take the plate, put it back into place, slots back in, just like so. Number one tool, and there we go. That's it. All done. Um, yeah, so that was on Saturday. Then yesterday in the shack with Barb. With me today in Groovy Tuesday. Then Barb is on TV on um, is on Thursday at five o'clock. It's the shack show on Create and Craft using um, the lovely mandala designs that you, many of you doodled in the shack and I was looking back to see when that happened and that was I think it started in September 2020 um, or 2021 I can't remember that. it's all I've got it all written down um, and I think it took eight weeks to um, to complete them <laughs> And um, so yeah, so that so that's on Thursday at five o'clock, and then on Friday, nine a.m. and one p.m. Some brand new stamps. I'll be showcasing some brand new stamps, and. If you like the Wii range of stamps, then you're going to love this new collection. We've got them in Wii and in miniatures. And an amazing set of stencils. All right, let's move along over here. So that's Friday at 9 o'clock and 1 o'clock. And then obviously we have Bank Holiday Monday, so there's no shack for a couple of weeks. But I'll be back with you on Tuesday, continuing our little project. Uh, so yeah, so we've got lots to keep you occupied over the coming days here at Clarity. Obviously you've got the Barbara's blog every day. You have the Clarity Matters blog on Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday is where Grace showcases lots of artwork from our friends over on Facebook. And then on Sunday, we have a groovy step-by-step -step project. Um, yeah, so there's lots to keep you out of trouble, regardless of what the weather's like. Um, okay, let's go back to number two tool. Just like so. See, it doesn't take long to do. I mean, we're, we've nearly done two sides of the design already. Okay, I'm going to go back to my number three. I'm going to start at the top and then work my way down. And of course we have um, our fantastic open days coming up. What day are we today? 25th of April, so yeah, May. Yeah, it's coming around thick and fast now. So they are Friday the 9th of June and Saturday the 10th of June. Stuart could pop a little link up for you if you're interested. Or you can always give Janine a call um, in the office. So it's eight pounds for each day, and they're two fun filled smashing days. Um, lots of demonstrations, raffles on the hour, every hour. 
lots of free parking um make and takes snip clinic so much so much it's definitely the highlight of my year when it comes to crafting and this year it's 30 years of clarity 30 years that's crazy where does i mean obviously i i haven't been with bob for 30 years i've known bob for many many years um but um yeah how the company's changed since i've been here and for me groovy just well you could probably tell from the the sound of my voice i mean i'm trying not to go too loud as well so we don't go all crackly will there be cake are you gonna make one jane are you gonna make a cake I'm sure we've got plenty of time. We haven't got any crafting or secret work to do. Car <coughs> Excuse me. Karen McCaw is coming on Saturday the 10th for the first time. Oh, Karen, um, you're going to love it. You really, really well. Have you got, how far are you traveling from, Karen? Whereabouts in the world or in the world? I mean, well, you could be coming from abroad. We've had people coming from abroad before. Um, We've got the lovely Pat Hoskin. She's coming all the way from Cornwall. We've got um, uh, brain fog, complete brain fog. Um, it'll come to me in a minute. It's because I'm in the groove. I'll go to number two. Let me just think. Hang on. I can't. No, it's gone. I don't even know what I was going to say now. Sure, and Bicey. Oh, that's not too bad then, is it? That's down on the south coast. Down Brighton Way. Or just past Brighton, I think. I'm rubbish with geography. Um, absolute rubbish. I think, um, Karen, there's a lady um, that comes to our parchment retreat at the Spa Hotel. I'm sure she comes from Shoreham by Sea um, to our parchment retreat at the Spa Hotel. Um, could be talking rubbish, I could be making it all up, but for some reason it does ring a bell. All right, so I've just got to do a little bit of white work just on this one here. Okay, I reckon I turn that over. That is, if I zoom out a little now, I'm going to stand up again. Here come the crackling. And the crackling will be in my back crackling. Hang on, stretch and go that way. And then. There we go. See, for me, this is the beauty of parchment craft. You do not have to do anything else whatsoever to this piece of parchment. I mean, obviously, oh, this chair. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Drag the chair in. Um, obviously, it needs some form of design within it. Um, but. What I'm saying is you don't have to add any color if you don't want to. You don't have to do any pico cutting. It's the pure beauty and magic of the parchment that gives it the elegance um, of the, the craft. And that's what I've always loved. When you look at the whiteness that you get, from a piece of 
when you think about it, we call it clear parchment. Obviously, it's not clear, but it's it's not white. It's not black. It's not. It's sort of like a grey colour, isn't it? Um, and to get that brightness of that white line with so much ease because of groovy plates. So I thought we'd have a look at this, and there's various different options of the road that we can go down now. There was talking about we can take the design. Oh, rubbish men have turned up. Just reversing. You'll probably hear that. <laughs> um, it's not my chair reversing, it's a dust cart outside. So I can take this lovely design from Jane and use that as my centerpiece if I want to. But maybe we want to try something a little bit different. So what I was looking at was obviously the aperture within the middle. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could um, perforate with a two needle tool on the inside and you can pico cut to create an aperture. Or you can put a design on top. So Tina is often working with layers. Okay. And um, so what I was looking at, I was looking at the, the circle. So I thought, well, okay, we've got our Pico dies and we've got our nested circle dies. So if I took the Pico dies, okay, so I took the, I think it was the fifth one. It's a little bit big, okay. If I took the next one down, it was a little bit small. It still works because it creates a frame within a frame. And I thought, well, okay, well, let's go with the just the basic nested circles. And that fits perfectly. Okay. So what we could do if we wanted to is that we could take some colored parchment and we could do a flower on that. Okay. But I thought, just keep it nice and simple. I just wanted to show you a few different options. Okay. So for example, if I take, I'm going to turn my mat over now and I'm on the hard side and I'm going to wipe my circle with, what side? That side. I'm going to wipe with my Tomal dry sheet like so. Okay. So a question from Jane, Lindsay, what plate am I using? So I'm using the, um, let me zoom out a little bit now. This is the Jane Nesterenko Rose and Lattice. It's an A5 plate. Okay, so this is what we've been using for this project. But if you just like the Lattice, then we also do um, the A5 square Lattice. So if you wanted to, you could put your square first and then infill around the outside. You could do a rectangle. You could do an oval. Um, it's a lovely plate to give you an infill. And I just saw a message fly by. Let me just see if I can find that message. Hang on a moment. Let me scroll back up. So Clive, me and my wife Sue are coming. We've only been doing Groovy for a few months, so this will be our first one. We are making it a four-day mini break. Really looking forward to it. That's brilliant. We look forward to seeing Clive and Sue. Are you coming for both days, Clive? Or are you just one day? That would be great. See, it's lovely. When many of the um, our friends that tune in to the Shack and Groovy Tuesday, um, many we've met over the years. Um, at various different events, whether it be the open days, the summer retreats, the parchment retreats. And um, I'm rubbish with names, but faces I recognize. Okay. But what's nice is that when we actually get together and you see these names appearing on the list of people sort of asking questions and making comments, and they're tiny little dots, and you think, oh, who is that I'm sort of talking to? I can't, so you, I can see the name, but I can't see it. So it's great, especially when we have our open days and um, you can actually put a name, a proper a, a face, you can put a face to a name and it means so much more. And I think the um, interaction um, 
from everybody and never ever be afraid to ask a question, whether it be online or if you're coming to the open days or any of our events, because I guarantee that the person next to you may want to know, but is a little bit shy. Um, Carol, Carol, Mrs. P, Mrs. Panky. Um, yes, everyone will have a name badge. I mean, it's up to you whether you wear one. When you come in, there'll be a sticker for you to write your name on. First name, last name, nickname, whatever you want to be called. Um, and you just wear that. Oh, you just wear that wherever you want. Um, because you know what's great about this? At the open days and the retreats, some people come for the first time and they get talking to people, and then they find out that they live half hour away, or they know someone that knows someone else. And all of a sudden, the community and the family really does come together. And many of the people um, coming along have been friends as a result of coming to either the retreats or the open days. Um, travel together, they craft together, they meet up every once in a while. So it really is about um, the, the community and the family. I've said this many a time. The open days for me is like a big family gathering because there's some people I've known for years and years and years and there's some people I would have met for the first time. But you're still like family. That's what it's about. It's all about if you're coming on your own, don't be scared, don't be frightened, because by the end of that day, you'll be friends with hundreds of people in the room. Um, and it is really strange. We've had people come that they live literally two streets away from one another and they didn't even know. Um, so it, it's an amazing what a small world it is, but the the, the community and the family aspect of it, of crafting, really does make a difference. So it would be really nice to see lots of old friends, not in age, but friends that we've known for many years, um, but also new friends as well. And again, questions coming up on here, it's nice to be able to answer them, and it would be nice to actually meet in person as well. And um, yeah. Oh, it's crackling again. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, let me just move that cable. I wonder whether... Okay, I'm going to stop moving that. Um, okay, so let's have a slurp of coffee. Maybe it's when I get excited the crackling starts. So maybe I'm not allowed to... <laughs> they get excited <laughs> and then it won't crackle. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at, let's go back to, to this now. Let's calm it, calm it, as Barb would say. Um, right. So these are the plates we've been looking at. This is my piece of work that I've been working on but I'm undecided as to what design I want to pop in the middle. So I can take a plate and I can lay it on top to see whether this would work or that would work. But I just wanted to show a couple of options for you. So if I now go to my plate mate, which comes in the starter kit, so I'll just grab that out of my folder, like so. So this is the plate mate that comes in the starter kit, A5 square. And let's take, for example, let's take Jane's Dahlias. Okay. Beautiful design. Um, you've got the lovely bouquet of Dahlias there. You've got various different, you've got the ladybug. Is it a ladybug now? Can you still call it a ladybug? Man bug? I don't know. And rather than take our piece of work and so I know that's going to fit lovely within the design, but I want to do it on a, a separate piece. Okay, but before I do that, what I want to do is um, 
the mic's rebelling it's missing my colorful shirts <laughs> before I, I actually put my design in i want to add in an outline so to do that i'm going to go back to this plate i know i digress okay so i'm going to line this up and it's a little snug fit but it will glasses are definitely required for this Okay, I'm going to grab a couple of ooh, groovy tabs. Okay, I'm just bring my head in over the top slightly. This is a really snug fit. I reckon it'll work. Just take the time to, to line it up. Groovy tab in place, like so. Definitely going to need my groovy guard. Mm. And what I'm going to do first is take my number one tool. Let's see if this will work. And I'm just going to gently press into the circle. Okay. Now the groovy guard definitely helps in this respect. Okay, so now I'm going to come round and do this side, like so. And you'll see that I'm turning the plate. So now that that's done, let's relocate the groovy tab. And put that part in. And then relocate this one, like so. Okay, and then pop that like so. So now we can take that off. And let's see what that's given us. So that's given us a white line all the way around the outside. Okay. So now we can go back to, I mean, you don't have to put a, a white line around if you don't want to. So now what we're going to do is going to have a look at the dahlia and use it as sort of like a, a spot magnifying glass type of thing. And you can decide where what you want to pick up and what you don't. So I reckon about there. Okay. And I... I say I love the dahlias. All of Jane's designs are beautiful. But for me, the um, I find that the dahlia is a lovely one to colour in. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to stand up and just zoom in so we can come in really close to this design. Now, I will use the rose that comes with the plate, but I just wanted to show an alternative. Okay, because I'm sure many of you out there will have a few plates at home in your collection. And you may be unsure on whether it would work with the design. So as I said, you can take the plate and lay it over to see whether it will work. Or you can just cut out some circles like I've done and have a play around. So you can try different elements. And if you don't like it, you could always use this on another piece of artwork. It doesn't have to go on this particular project, but maybe it will. So you could create a series of toppers have them all done, have the frames all done as well. And then just when you need a, a birthday card or an anniversary card, maybe a rose has a special meaning to somebody that you're sending the card to. Or maybe they like alliums or not alliums, agapanthers, or maybe something else that you have in your collection. Um, 
So if you have these series, series, series of toppers, then you can adapt your design rather than thinking, oh, I've got to do this now. And so it's all about having the mixability of the design. Okay. And you can see how easy it is. And I'm just making sure I stay, well, I've obviously I've got to stay within the circle, but I'm staying within the line that I've created. You know what, I mean, it really doesn't take long, does it? Um, and as Jane just said, it's funny how flowers, certain flowers may make you think of certain people. Um, yeah. Or a particular occasion. For me, um, freesias for my mom and my nan. Um, whenever I see freesias, I think of, of them. Just brings back memories, doesn't it? Make sure that well, let's move a little bit. Okay, let's just adapt slightly, and then we'll just lock that back into place. So that goes. Look, let's take that, hold that back in. It hasn't affected it. No, there we go. So if you have a series of toppers already done, I mean Linda Williams has um, a lovely selection of flowers in Groovy. We've got, there's violets, there's primrose, um, aquilegia. There's a rose from Linda as well. I'm just going through the flowers and lace collection. Um, we've got fuchsias. Probably got quite a few of the different types of flowers covered in Groovy. I've missed the bottom bit on the bottom left. I have indeed, thank you. Well spotted. Um, there is a freesia plate packed, yes. Um, Stuart, could you pop a link up to that please? Um, yeah, it's got a lovely um, spray of freesias and I'm not sure whether it's got a basket or I think it has a little verse on it as well. Um, yeah, it's a lovely plate. I think we also have it in stamp as well. I'm sure Stuart can find that for you and pop that link off. How are we doing? Is it 10 to already? Core blimey, governor. Where's the time gone? Oh, I don't know. But you know what? It's been, apart from the crackling mic, isn't that a song? Oh no, it's crackling rose, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite apt. Um, there you go, Stuart's popped the link up. Thank you, Stuart. Spring bouquet. Um, is it that one or is, there, is it called spring bouquet? I thought we had a, a different one. Let's have a look. Um, Clarity website, and let's search for Freesia. Yeah, there is another one, Stuart, um, which has the Freesia on, which it's called um, Freesia's and Mother Verse. The item code is 40902. It's really lovely. Um, let me bring it in on the, the overhead, you can sort of see, hopefully you can see. There we go. If I bring it in on my phone. Uh, there we go, Jane's got it. Um, lovely, really nice. Uh, there we go. Jane's got it, Stuart's got it, everyone's on it. 
Oh, um, so yeah, I, I reckon we've probably got most flowers covered in stamp and groovy. Um, but maybe there's a particular flower that means something to you. Um, you can always contact us and ask us. You may already have something in the, the pipeline. Barb's always drawing, and we've got the lovely, young, fantastic um, Jazz. She's always working on designs. But we often, um, our friends often suggest different designs, and um, and we we feel that it fits what we're doing at the moment. Then we well, we listen. We definitely listen, and we act as well by popular demand. That verse, I forgot what that verse says. Um, let's have a look. It says, mother has ears that listen, arms that always hold, love that's never ending, and a heart that's made of gold. <laughs> oh dear, I'd forgotten that. Um, whew. Okay. Dom, dom, dom. Oh, I missed a bit in there. No one told me. Okay, that was a good distraction. Thanks, Jane. Um, do we have something with bluebells? Yes, we do. Um, we have, there's a Linda Williams design that has bluebells on. Um, you watch, Jane will be on it. Bluebells. Um, I'm sure it's bluebells. Oh, what plate is it? I think it is. Is it the bumblebee? One of Linda's. Uh, not it won't be the bumblebee, I don't think. Um, oh, what's it called? Um, uh, there's bumblebee, dragonfly, and um. Bees, butterflies, and dragonflies. I think there's a... Yeah, there we go. Let me show you that. There we go. It is the bumblebee one. I was, I was right. So it's a set of... I mean, obviously, they're all available individually. And there's a lovely little I.I. book that goes with it. Um, so there's the dragonflies. Yeah, I knew we had bluebells. Lovely. We've got snowdrops, bluebells and bees. That's right. There we go, Carol. Um, a camellia. Have we got a camellia? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, no, don't be silly. We often buy something without... I'd say we buy something without looking, but we do look. But... We've often said that you look at you look at the overall design, don't you? I, for me personally, that's what I do. And so with Groovy, what I always find is useful is that when you get um, a new design, just take a piece of parchment and just trace it out because it's amazing um, what you can pick up on. See, I knew we had a bluebell. And I wasn't sure, and I knew it was Linda Williams. But I knew it also wasn't the Flowers and Lace collection. But then I couldn't remember if it was the bees, the butterflies, or the dragonflies, because obviously they'd all go for the um, bluebells. So it's just narrowing it down slightly. And I knew we had a Freesia one, because Freesia's reminded me of my mum. So isn't it funny you have that connection? Um, yeah, okay, so let's have a look. So we've got a lovely little panel now, a circular panel of our, our dahlias. And so now if I take 
my piece of artwork and pop that on top. See, it looks it looks lovely within there. So, for example, I could trim this down with a craft knife. Okay, so I'm talking. Well, I say I'm talking to somebody that isn't that far on the bus journey yet. But I'm talking to people, um, our friends that have been doing it for a long time, that haven't got the time to do any pico cutting, or they just want a fairly quick cut. Okay, trim this down with um, scissors, craft knife and ruler, guillotine, paper trimmer, die cut a circle. Um, with your design, with you do see this would look lovely on our rainbow parchment, and then you would use the complementary paper underneath, on top. You know, like um, this one here that Barbara, Linda, and Grace are working on. See, so you could take that. So where you've got the pink down here, and the green up there, you could die cut another piece. So you've got green here and pink up there, put the paper underneath and you wouldn't need to color it in at all. Um, but yeah, whether you use circles, squares, I mean, if I'd gone for a square option, the, um, I've got groovy tabs everywhere, our little coasters, I mean, the circle one obviously doesn't fit, it's a square coaster, but you can cut a piece of parchments of square and you could just have loads you could have all different um if someone loves their gardening here we go someone loves their garden often sitting out drinking tea coffee whilst the sun's shining and admiring all their handiwork all their flowers um a set of coasters with any flowers jane lesterenko flowers linda williams flowers and they have that outside to put their coffee on on their table while they're enjoying the sun. Um, that'd be a great little gift. And it's parchment and it's protected within the coasters. So that's a really sort of good gift idea. And I just took that from what Bernie was saying. She likes the idea of making toppers of flowers to keep in stock. You could use those toppers to make lovely coasters and presents as well. Um, Coronation coasters, yeah. Barb gave um, a sneaky peek of a coronation coaster. Yes, sir. careful how you say that. <laughs> Tongue tied coronation coasters. And um, Barb will be doing that on TV on Thursday at five o'clock in the shack on Crate and Craft. So if you want to see how that's done, you may want to shop ahead and get some coasters in advance ready for that if you've already got the stamps. It's all about having the versatility and sometimes try not to think too much into it. So by giving you the various different options, whether you want to just spend an afternoon just doing little toppers that you can use later on, whether you use it just on clear parchment, whether you use it on designer parchment, rainbow parchment, coloured parchment, there's so much out there um, for you to try. Um, and give it a go. And if it doesn't work on what you're working on there, don't dismiss it. Keep it to one side because it will come in for a rainy day when you need a really quick and easy card. You thought, oh yeah, I did that topper. Let me just bring that out and the job's done. Um, I can't believe it's 11 o'clock already. We've gone over 11 o'clock, but it, we'll make allowances for, for the crackly mic. <laughs> So thank you once again for joining me. Lovely, as always, chatting to everyone, answering all your questions. Um, I'll be back with you next Tuesday and um, we'll continue on with this. And thank you to Stuart for his help, to the lovely design team that have all been in the room um, helping as well. It's so great to have, oh, I've got an itchy eye now. Does that mean that if I've got an itchy eye, does it mean something, is it a surprise? No, I'm not going to win the lottery tonight. Okay, the lottery's on, not on tonight, is it? <laughs> um, so don't forget, Barb's on TV, Thursday at 5pm, 
and then Friday at nine and one. I'll be back with you on Tuesday. So enjoy the rest of your week, whatever you're up to. Enjoy the bank holiday. I hope the weather's kind to you wherever you are. But if it's not, just stay inside and groove. So I will see you all next week. Take care now. Thank you. Bye-bye.